So this young lady would beg her husband to spend quality time with her, but he would always brush her off. Every single time she set something up, he would make an excuse not to do it with her. And every time she just tried to get some quality time, he would just say, not right now. Now, this young lady is extremely attractive, and it's easy for her to get attention anywhere. Matter of fact, she had multiple men trying to talk to her every single day, but she only has eyes for her husband. But this pretty young thing is not getting her knees met, and she getting fed up. So weeks go by, months go by, and she's still not getting the quality time that she needs. She's a good girl, and she's definitely not going to step out on her husband. But one day, she went to work. And everybody in her job knows that she's married. But it's a new guy that just came in, and he knows nothing about her marriage. So one day, she's sitting in the break room, just watching TV, eating her lunch. Now, when a young man walks into the break room, it's a couple tables that's empty where he can sit at. But he chooses to sit right next to her. So he walks up to her and say, hey, is anybody sitting here? She pulls out the chair and say, no, you're fine. You can sit right here. He introduces himself. She introduces herself. Next thing you know, they start having small talk. The conversation got so interesting to her that she was actually 15 minutes late going back to work. When she seen that she was 15 minutes late, she was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to get in trouble. But I actually liked it, this conversation. She asked him, when is your next break? He told her and she said, okay, I'll see you then. So weeks went by and they went on break with each other every single day. A month go by, this young man is coming 10 minutes early to work just so when she pull up, he can walk inside the building with her. Then he will clock out early just to make sure he can walk her back to her car. She's loving this attention. She loving the conversation. She actually feel like she's heard because she's not getting that at home. Now, this young lady is constantly picking up overtime just to be at work to talk to this young man. The young man is actually doing the same thing. She at work smiling. She laughing. The young man asked a couple of times, can he get her number? And she told him, no, I don't think it's the time right now. He respected it and took it from there. So one day she gets off of work and she sees her husband sitting down watching TV. She asks him, what you got going on tomorrow? So he says, I actually seen that you've been working a lot and I feel like I should take you out. She is jumping up with so much joy inside to the point that she felt like, oh my gosh, I am about to get exactly what I want. So her husband says, are you working tomorrow? She said, hey, don't even worry about it. I will call off just to spend time with you. He said, no, honey, you don't have to do that. She said, no, please, I will do it. It doesn't matter. So the next morning she wakes up and she is beyond excited because now she gets to spend time with her husband. But her husband, friend, actually called and said he wanted to do something different. So he told his wife, hey, something came up. Do you mind if we do this a different day? His wife's blood is boiling. At this point in time, she feel like she's not heard. She's not love. She feel like she's starting to feel insecure. Even though all the men that's in her inboxes or every time she step outside is flooding her with compliments and asking, hey, can I take care of you for the rest of your life? She's not getting the love that she wants from her husband and it's making her feel really bad inside. So furious with her blood boiling, she said, you know what? It's OK. Go do whatever you got to do. She goes to her room and put on this red dress that hugs every single curve that this woman has. She got the twins sitting up, makeup done right, hair on fleek. This woman looked like she just stepped out of a magazine. Her husband went upstairs to go do something, so he didn't get a chance to see her. This woman went to her job and act like she forgot something in her locker. She went on the time that she usually go on break. The moment she walked in the building, every single man started drooling. It was so bad that married men at her job was actually thinking about shooting their shot. So as she walked past the break room, the young man sees her and his mouth drops. He's drooling and he's like, oh my gosh, you are beyond beautiful. So he asks her, what you got going on today? She said, nothing much, just going to have a day to myself. The young man said, listen, I'm not trying to be funny, but I wish I could take you out. The young lady tilted her head, smiled really hard and flicked her hair back. You can tell she felt shy and she asked him, when you trying to take me out? He said, hey, I would love to do it today if you don't mind. She said, give me your phone. This man whipped out his phone with the quickness and she started typing her number in. She said, what time you gonna get off work? He said, I'll get off work in four hours, but I'm about to go clock out right now if I could take you out. She laughed and said, no, silly, we definitely got time. 
but he wasn't trying to hear none of that. She said, just call me when you get off work. And he said, will do. She gave him a nice warm hug and then walked off. As she was walking off, all the guys was looking at the young man like, yo. And every man in the building is looking at what she carrying in the back as she walk away. The young man goes to his boss and say, yo, something just came up. I got to go. And he clocked out. Didn't even let his boss get a chance to talk. He went home and showered and called the young lady to spend some time with her. When she picked up the phone, she was super excited and was like, I thought you'd get off in like a few hours. He said, listen, I would be crazy not to get this chance to spend some time with you. That warmed her heart so much that she was, aww. That day they met up and started kicking it and everything was going crazy good. Now a few weeks go by and she's kicking it with this young man every single day. Now she feel complete, she don't feel empty, she feel like she's being heard, she feels satisfied with what she got going on. And now she's lying to her husband about going to work a lot. Instead of going to work, she's going to this young man's house to spend the whole day with him. Then it started getting so bad that sometimes she wouldn't even come home. But the first couple of nights that she didn't come home, her husband was putting tabs on her. It was never like her to stay out all night and never come home and never call him. So days that she said she was going to work, after she would leave, he would wait like 10 to 15 minutes and drive to her job just to see if her car is out there. Then he started realizing that she's not going to work and she's going somewhere else. So one day he leaves on purpose hours early. He go rents a car so he can follow his wife. So when the wife gets in the car to go to this young man's house, he follows her all the way there. He sees that his wife pulled up and some man is grabbing her by her behind and swinging her around like he happy. Now he is so confused because now his wife is kissing on this man, hugging this man, and just so happy. He can't take it no more. He emotionally stressed out seeing his wife being with another man. So he goes into his bag and grabs his weapon, cocks it back. This is in broad daylight on a busy street where this man lives at. As his wife is bear hugging and kissing on another man, he hurries up and jump out the car. He runs across the street to go confront them. His wife don't even notice him yet and they started walking towards the back so they can go into the side door. Now when the young man opens the side door, him and the young lady goes in there. And then her husband whips out his weapon and points it at both of them. With tears in his eye, he pulls the trigger. 